is it the Lakers' intention with you and Coach and, and Dr. Buss to bring this team back intact to defend this championship? We would like to do that. Um, you know, every uh, free agent period you know, brings on uncertainty. Um, this year in particular, maybe more so than other years, uh, with the economy and um, the fact that we have three unrestricted free agents. You know, unrestricted free agency is completely different than restricted free agency. You know, if you recall last year, uh, Sasha Vujicic was a restricted free agency and that, you know, took basically the whole summer to get done because there's really no urgency. And this is something totally different. You know, it could conclude quickly. So, um, <coughs> You know, the market uh, is a free market. Um, we don't have rights to match on any players. So we'll have to make quick decisions, and hopefully we can bring this team back intact. Mitch, what's your feeling about being able to do that? Are you confident, hopeful? What's, how would you uh, I was, uh, Of the two words you gave me, you only gave me a choice of two. I would use the word hopeful. hopeful. Yeah, I, I don't know what the market uh, will be. You know, we're very familiar with, you know, the rules of the salary cap and the collective bargaining agreements, and I won't bore you with biannual exceptions, mid-level exceptions, cap room, tax thresholds. Um, you know, there are certain limitations that, that will be available to players. Um, the number one exception would probably be the mid-level exception that all teams get. Beyond that, um, dollar amounts larger than that would fall to teams that have cap room. And there are not a lot of teams, there's a couple, but it only takes one team to make an offer. So uh, that, that part of it you know, brings great uncertainty <coughs> to what may take place this summer. Um, so I can't speak to you know, likely or likelihood or most likely, I would say we're hopeful.